Now, earlier this week, we uh, received news via social media that Catherine Casavulli was in hospital and she urgently needed blood donations. Uh, the problem was allegedly she had, uh, she's suffering from cervical cancer and she's in hospital for it. And that's what she's battling and everything. And people were concerned because we have known Catherine Casavulli since forever, okay? She has always been on our TV screens doing the most. She is just... Like, if you, if you ask somebody in media today, you know, like, who is your inspiration? Why did you get into media and everything? That's one of the people they're going to mention, Catherine Kansavuli. And she's so eloquent and so graceful and everything. And we grew up to her telling us uh, the news and everything, being this anchor. You know, it's, it's like talking to Beyonce. She's literally the Beyonce of the industry. So for us to hear that she's in hospital battling, you know, a disease and being unhealthy and just going through it was a bit heartbreaking for us. However, people turned out in numbers in support of her and people went to donate blood to her. And she came out on social media after a, a long hi hiatus on social media and said, the last months have been crazy for me and I want to take this opportunity to appreciate my family, my colleagues in the media industry, the Catherine Casavulli Foundation, the doctors, the strangers, the online communities, basically everybody who showed up in support for her and donated blood and just sent your, you know, your, your messages to her telling her love and light, we are with you and whatnot. She also said... To the special people who have come forth to donate blood, God bless you. May he enrich your beautiful souls. May he meet your desires of your heart. To the special souls who are contributing towards my medical bill, I love you so much. God bless you. She goes on to say, it has not been an easy journey. However, for the people who are fighting the same struggle, I love you. We shall overcome. Life is a beautiful thing and we shall live to tell our stories. She goes on to say that she has been in hospital for a hot minute however she she does believe that she will get better and we're just praying for her to get better because wow you would never think yeah we would never think however we just send love and light to you uh, may you get better Catherine absolutely and I love that Catherine has gotten so many people in support of her and rallying for her but I was speaking to my um, my mother-in-law and she was this is my brother's mother-in-law, uh, mm -hmm. who is technically my mother-in-law. And she was tell telling me about her experience with people getting chemo. You know how, how draining it is and how difficult it is to go through chemo? Like, it is literally your body fighting using the chemicals that are being sipped into your body. And you can imagine after that, you obviously are not in a position to walk. You're not in a position to drive anywhere. You need friends and family to come and take you from hospital and to hospital and stuff like that. And she was telling me that she was so sad every time she'd go to hospital and she'd see older people, people mm. older than her, struggling to now take themselves from hospital to take themselves back home. And for her, it was such a heartbreaking event. She was constantly speaking about how she wishes she could have done more to just help people. Mm -hmm. And I think in as much as we're always rallying around people who are in positions of not just helping themselves, but already have such huge support systems, we need to start to think about people who don't have these support systems, people who don't have children to come and pick them up and drop them off at the hospital. People who do not have the abilities to do all of these things that they should be able to do but simply because they are trying to get themselves better they are struggling so my point again is charity may not begin at home all the time so we need to be the homes for these people if you can i wish there was a way if someone could come up with like a system a logistic system to be able to pick people up from chemo and take them home i'm sure it can't be that complicated just a few cars a few drivers and some foundation facilitating for this if we can rally as Kenyans and try and help people in different hospitals, just these older people specifically who have no one, it would be such an amazing thing. But for Catherine, we hope and wish that all the best is going to come your way and you will be better in no time and we will start seeing you again on social media. So good luck to you and everyone else who's struggling. You are not alone. We are thinking of you. Our prayers are with you constantly. <laughs>